In the first phase, working with glazes builds upon a strong foundation. This is intended to be exploratory. It intentionally separates the value from the color, which allows you to take chances. You'll find that as you slowly layer colors on, interesting halftones and color variations arise naturally, and this is the point. But once you've reached a happy place and your entire canvas is filled, it's time to get serious. Getting out thick, opaque paint means that you're no longer leaning on your underpainting. At this point, it's time to enhance and to polish. So for this example, I'm going to pretend that these checkers here are just the errors that naturally occur while you're doing an underdrawing. Maybe it's pencil marks that are left over from the scan. Maybe it's the overlapping brush marks that happened as you were glazing. But either way, it's something that you don't want. So it's this thick paint phase where you get to iron all those details out and smooth out, enhance, and polish. So this is a place where I'll heavily use temp layers, where I'll make a new layer, sample from the area that I want to paint. So I'll sample this bright pink color, and then I'll paint way outside of the lines then erasing out what I don't want. So it's really integral that I have a way to make a new layer quickly. In my case, I made a keyboard shortcut. And then erase out with a soft eraser as well. And now that I've got an edge that I like, I'll make a new layer. Soft round brush, and I'll sample from a little further back in. This is a bit darker. So you can see I'm smoothing out and getting rid of that initial underpainting, which for the example was checkers. But in your case, it'll probably be pencil marks or bad brush strokes. And then I erase back out to get that sharp edge again. Now I've jumped ahead a bit here and I'm finishing up the last face of the cube. And again, this is a bit exaggerated because I wouldn't be covering every inch of my canvas a second time. That would waste way too much energy. Really, this sort of work is only going to happen in the focal points of the image. Any area that's going to be looked at a lot by the viewer, I'm going to pay special attention to and to really refine. But hopefully this demo gave you a better understanding of what exactly the thick paint can do. It can even out and refine what you already laid down as a foundation.